Okay, so now we've gone, we've finished our menu, and now we have the fun part. Now we're going to make your blog nice and pretty. We're going to customize the theme so that it looks like the example that I showed you. Well, first I'm going to give you a quick overview of the theme, just so you know exactly what a theme is. A theme is what makes the blog pretty. It's going to, it's going to um, personalize it. That's how you personalize it with the colors that you want, the aesthetic of it. And um, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. First, let's cover WordPress themes. WordPress has tons of themes. So first, there's different ways that you can find a theme also. You can go to the Bluehost homepage. On your web, on your back office, and you're going to um, for design and build. If you click the customize right now, you're going to see how your how your theme looks right now. This is the theme that came when you installed your WordPress, and right now it's not very pretty. All you see is words. There's no color. There's no images. This is the bare bones of your blog. So this is going to require a lot of customization. And this is the part that can scare a lot of people because they feel like, I'm not a web designer. I don't have time to be customizing. I don't know how to do images or graphics. So I'm going to show you a couple more ways to find the themes. Uh, WordPress, if you go, you can also find free themes. And there's a lot of free themes that are available. But again, as you're looking, they look really nice. You see all the images, you know, because they're all custom. These, um, these blogs have been built out and customized by web designers. If you go to the demo, you see that it, it's okay. You know, there's an image, but it's still kind of plain. It's not all that great. So there's one more way that you can find the themes. And that's if you go to the left side bar here and you click, let's see, and you click over at, at appearance and go ahead and click themes there. And then you'll see the, the themes that were automatically installed. And then if you go to WordPress themes here, this is like a huge place where you can find free themes. A lot of them are free and you'll see a bunch of them. And again, they're all customized. They look really nice. If you click this one with the big graphic, if you look at it though, it's still a bare bones theme. There's nothing there. And if you were to install it, that's how your theme would look. So just because they look really pretty in the front end, <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily mean that that's how it's going to look when you install it right away. These themes, like I mentioned, have been customized by web designers. But don't worry, it, it gets a lot easier going forward because I did the hard work for you. I found a really, really nice, simple, clean theme. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to install it. And it looks great out of the box. I mean, there's no real customization that you need. It's just a really nice theme. And so... We're going to choose the theme and we're going to customize it. So let me go to that video. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to go back to the left sidebar, go to appearance, and go to themes. And we're going to go to WordPress themes, like I mentioned, where the free themes are. And in the search bar, I want you to type in, let's see, I have it here, Nizarg. Nizarg, N-I-S-A-R-G. And there it is. That's the theme that we're going to use to build out our blog. That's the same theme that I used in the example. And if you see it, it, it looks okay. You know, it's kind of formatted. It looks, it looks nice. And we're going to customize it now. So we're going to go ahead and install it. All you have to do is go back to the page and click install. Get my drink here. 
and then you're going to activate it. And now your theme is activated, and this is the current theme on your blog. So we're going to customize it first, and then once you customize it, then we're going to sh I'm going to show you the front end. So we're, we click the customize button, and this is the page where now you're going to work your magic. And this theme is going to be so easy that it's going to look great as soon as you publish it. There's not going to be any web designers required. So these are all the customizing buttons. We're not going to use all of them, but I'm going to take you step by step. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to click the site identity button. So on the left side here, you're going to click site identity. And this is basically what you already put in when you did the walkthrough. If you want to change your tagline, this is where you can change it. I think I'm going to keep it and I'm going to keep my title. So, and that is going to end up on the header. That's the top of your page on your blog in the public side. If you click that box, it'll take it off, but we want to keep it there. Okay, so we click that little button to go back. And now we're going to put the header image. This is going to make the blog pretty. And as you notice, they already have some images there. And look how pretty it looks just with the images that they provided. You know, the blog is already looking nice, and, and the, you've, you haven't, we haven't really done anything to it. But as an Avon blog, we want to make it more um, appealing and more um, nicer. So we're going to go to a free graphics, which is called Pixabay. Now, Pixabay is a free graphic site. You can use their images, and um, all you have to do is... To find my image, I'm going to put beauty backgrounds, and we'll see what comes up. So they have all sorts of images that are backgrounds. They have flowers and different things. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and let me see what's here. This might even take you the longest part, just trying to find an image. Not, no, not so much the customization of the blog, but just deciding which one you want. So I like this big pink flower. So it says it's a free download. So I'm going to go and download it. And make sure you download it at the 1920. That's going to be large enough for that header. And then it downloaded it. And now you're going, let's see, maybe there's some other images that I like. Because I can try out a couple of them to see which one works the best. So uh, maybe these lips will work because we're doing a beauty blog. So I'm going to go ahead and check this one out. And again, these images are free. You don't have to pay for them. And then um, I saw another one on the front page. Let me see if, if that one will work. And then I'll show you the differences of all of them. Okay, here it is. It's this one. So I'm going to download that one also. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our customizing, to customizing the blog. We're going to go back to the tab. And here where it says header image, we're going, it says add a new image. We're going to click that. And this is where you're going to upload your images. This is select files. So it pops up a window so you can find the images on your on your computer. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to load up. Okay, so we're going to try the lips first. So I go ahead and select and crop. Now this is what's really nice is that it automatically sets the size that the image needs to be to fit the header. Because there's a lot of times where you... You know, we're web designers. They have to actually play with the sizes. And so this actually will size it for you. So I think it's a little busy. It's not, you know, it's okay. But let me try another image. So I'm going to go back. Let's see. Oh, let me try the, the color for the text. For the, we'll make it black so we can see it a little bit. I mean, it's okay, but let me try another image. So I'm going to go back to header, header image, and we're going to try another one. So I click add image, 
upload, and then I select the file. And I uploaded it, and I'm going to try the flower. And we have to crop it, which means we have to size it. So you can move this around to where you want the image to get cut. So I'm going to do it right here. Let's see. Okay, I'll do it right there. You go ahead and crop it. And that looks much nicer. So I think, um, I think I'll try that one instead. Okay, so I've decided to pick that. I'm going to change the header text. I'm going to change it to white so that it looks, oh, the background. I'm going to change the background. So you can change the background of the page any color. I'm going to try to find a color that matches just, uh, that matches nicely with the image. So you can slide the slider to make it, you know, to make it lighter or darker. And so you can play around with this. This might take a couple minutes for you to find the perfect color that you want. And so I'm going to use this color here. Okay, and then once you're happy with the color, you just uh, click select color. And then um, now we're going to change the header image, the colors. We're going to go to colors, and I'm going to change that back to white. Okay, so now that I've done that, now you can add a background image if you like also. It's up to you. This is an example. Of course, that's way too busy. But if you go to background image, that's how you can add an image to your blog. And then you can change the direction of the image if you'd use the little arrows. But I don't want a background image. So um, let's see, those are the different sets. But I'm going to clear it so we just have a nice pink background. Okay, and now let's see that other image that I used, that dark pink. So this is the this is the time where you can have fun with your blog. This is what's going to express to you. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that Using that Pixabay, those are free images, and I looked into it, and I did some research, and they're fine for um, commercial blogs, which is basically what your Avon blog is. It's not okay to go onto Google and to help yourself to any image that you want, especially if you go to an Avon reps blog and you see an image that you like. You, um, It's not nice etiquette, good etiquette, and it can even be illegal if you help yourself to images that you do not have the rights to. So make sure you have the rights. If you think you like somebody's image, then you know contact them, ask them if it's okay to use their image. I know for me personally, I purchase my images and I make them custom. So I don't share, you know, the ones that I do share, I put them on online beauty buses. But, um, just make sure that you have the rights to them. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to, as far as the menu, oh, the, the left side here, we're going to get rid of some of these left side items. So that we're going to click on the sidebar button, and we don't need the, um, for the categories page. You can choose how you want that to display. We don't need the archives page, so we're going to delete that. We're going to remove it. And we don't need the meta, which is the login. And I don't like to have a login on my front page because I try to keep, you know, you don't want it to get hacked or anything. So just take that off. And now we have the, the uh, just a few. Later in another video, I'm going to show you how to customize that so that you can make that sidebar nice and pretty. And then the last thing is we're going to do the accent colors. So right now it's green, that's the default color that it came with, but I'm going to choose pink and now it adds a nice little extra touch. So as you can see, with just a few clicks, we already have this uh, blog nice. 
We can take a look at it. You can save the draft. We're not ready to publish it yet. So go ahead and click that save draft. And then um, it's going to show you the, the draft link. So if you click that link, now you have a nice preview of what your blog is going to look like. Now, of course, you don't have to make a pink blog. You don't have to pick a, a flower. You can pick any images that you want. This is the menu that we built. You can see the drop down with the Avon products. You can see the, the Buy Avon. You can see the header. So it's already looking and coming along really nice. And all it took was a few clicks. So now that we're done customizing, if you click the publish, that's gonna set all your customization. So it's not gonna publish your blog. All it's doing is, is saving the, um, the changes that you made. Okay, so now that we're done with customizing it, we're gonna go back to the homepage, the Bluehost homepage on your WordPress, and that's it, your blog is off to a great start. So like I mentioned, it's not hard, it's just more time consuming. And the part that's gonna probably take the most time is finding those that image for that top part. But if you go to Pixabay and just start with a nice, you know, a nice image there, you can always change it later. Right now, we just want to get your blog up and going. And there's going to be a lot more customization. Your blog will evolve as your as your skills evolve also.